Okay, we're in the Vermilion Cliffs on the Praia Mesa up here, which is all sand. And this is originally occupied by Indians, of course, and there are many Indian ruins. But then came the ranchers, cattle ranchers. And I think there's about five ranches here, which we plan to visit here. Now driving here is on Sandy Road, four-wheel drive with real thread, not uh, city thread. Okay, this is the Pine Tree Ranch. Behind the rocks back there is a natural reservoir of water. And this entire area, as far as you can see back there, is fenced in. That's a gasoline tank or diesel fuel. Horse trailer. And you can see corrals. It's a huge, vast area of corrals here. That's the ranch house itself. Let's go tour around here. And every ranch here is dependent on water, and that means deep wells. I don't know how deep these wells are. And there are two modes of operation here. One is by gasoline engine, which is, which is this one. And others are by windmills, so we'll see. Now the tank to the right is a water reservoir. Okay, this is the Pinnacle Ranch. That corral is made out of steel pipe and wooden posts. Now, this is about, this ranch is about 12 miles away from Pine Tree. So just think of the logistics of moving all of this equipment down here on a very narrow road. Speaking of roads, do not come here without a map. Now the one we're using it has maps and mile mile posts. And if you don't want this book, then get the Trails Illustrated map. Okay, the windmill. It is powered by a propane motor as well as a windmill and it's disconnected now because the uh, pump isn't going up and down. But what's interesting, it's made by Air Motor in Chicago. We've been here a couple of times and that fan is always spinning. Okay, that's the uh, blacksmith shop if you will have. That's where the water is stored. Huge tank. And the beauty of this area here, let me go this way, are its hoodoos, and it is a huge valley. Let's look at it here. And you can see the hoodoos in the distance. It's a very scenic drive. Now, standing back, you see the big pile of rock, and there's a little pile of rock. To the right is a small little hole. Anyway, there's a fence. It's about 800 yards walk. Turn right, and in that cave, there's uh, petroglyphs, cowboy type. The earliest dated is 1911. 1911. I don't think World War I started then. Okay, if you walk behind that tank, oh, about 300 yards, there's some more cowboy glyphs there, and the late, earliest one is 1935. Okay, we stopped here for some more scenery. We call this guy the Tormented Rock. It's probably 20 feet high. stripe of coloring there. Okay. 
it's here all alone <laughs> Okay, let's go over the hill here. Flashing back in this guy. So you can see it's a large valley with these individual land. out to the road. It's not as sandy here. Alrighty, let's look at look at the road again. This is the king of hoodoos, right on the pariah rim. It's about, I'm guessing, 20 feet tall. Let's pan down and see what you see from here. It's Highway 89 down there. That's the Grand Canyon. I would call that the marble section. Let's walk around this. It'll be in the shade, unfortunately. There's the entryway. And I'm guessing it's about three-quarter or a half a mile hike here. They used to be able to drive closer, but then of course their government's playing wilderness, wilderness, wilderness. Read, you can't come here anymore unless you're a professional hiker. There it is. Now it's another ranch. This one's uh, actually quite large. Uh, the inside, you see those screens? That's one large living room, affording many ranch hands to eat here. And of course, this could be a B&B. &B. Here are the beds, high quality springs. And let's walk down the trail a little bit. And this is obviously a storage shed. Never want to walk into one of these because of the hantavirus disease. And a little further. And here's our favorite root cellar. Dig a hole deep in the ground, cover it <laughs> with dirt, which they didn't really do. And that's where you, so essentially it's, it's their refrigerator. I'm sure when this was in its prime, dirt covered it, otherwise it becomes an oven. And then we just walk back up. We're at the Bonelli Springs, and I'm, Bonelli Springs <laughs> is what it implies. But what's interesting is there's an Indian ruin up here, and unfortunately the sun is casting a shadow, so I'll try and avoid that. It's obvious this is a sizable ruin, the way the rocks are stacked up.
and they're still here if someone wants to reconstruct them. Now this, it's on the edge of a cliff, as you'll see here. I had to go back and get my pack. So it has a wonderful view of Highway 89. You got a zip up. There we go again. This is the view. Try and shade the sun. Okay. The other interesting aspect of this ruin, well actually it's kind of confusing, they built walls. Let me go over there. A little bit to the left here, my friends the cactus. Toss in a little hoodoo on the way. Actually two of them. Okay, there we go. Try and keep the sun away from the lenses. But here's the wall. Or, let's go around here and over it, and now, if you have two walls and a rectangle, it certainly implies that this is a very big room. Walk to the point over there if you want. Okay, so there's wall A, wall B. And the end wall. Okay, let's continue a little further here. Now this is the interesting part. Bonelli Springs starts at the bottom, if you will, and ends up here at the top. At the bottom I say Highway 89A. Uh, let me walk around here. Uh, turn too quickly. There we go. Now we have a rock cairn here. Okay. This is the way down. Guess what? I'm not going to take it. Let's give you an idea how to hike down. And the reason that's so important here, and this is steep. Ah, we're in the shade. Okay, about one third of the way down, er, down on the cliff edge is an actual spring. Bonelli dynamited out so it's more like a cave. And so he ran a hose down to the bottom, and if you come up from the bottom, you'll see a giant watering tank for his cattle. But also, he put a pump in there, motor, engine, pump. And it would pump up water up here. To a sheep ranch. Now what I'm going to do is turn this off here. And just look at that, there's a, that's the wall we saw before. And here's another one partially built. 
anyway i'm gonna turn it off here and see if i can find those uh, sheep troughs okay here it is these are the watering troughs for sheep don't know how many sheep he had but if you look at the size of these watering troughs 100 sheep would easily do it maybe 200 